Today we are taking our first drive of the Tirano, a hot new compact SUV for India by Nissan, which just happens to be a Renault Duster underneath. That's right, the Tirano is based off the Duster and what it's got from Nissan is completely revised aesthetics. Just about every panel on this car is new. Let's find out everything about the Tirano. Let's get to know it a little bit better. Nissan had to make the Tirano strikingly different from the Duster. And to do that, they redesigned and changed everything on the outside. Every sheet metal panel, the bumpers and even the tail lights, all of it has been changed. At the front, it has worked beautifully. The Tirano looks sleek yet tough. Everything fits in perfectly. The new hood flows into the chrome V-shaped grille. As do the tapering headlamps. And the new bumper adds a tough edge to it all. At the rear, there is a new tailgate with tail lamps that spread inwards. But when you look at it from this angle, you can't help but think Renault Duster. But that's because Nissan couldn't have changed the profile, the window lines, the glass area without in effect actually designing a car ground up. But here too, the doors are more rounded. And the new machine finished alloy wheels look great. Nissan has tried to make a difference even on the inside. The steering wheel with the silver accents looks smart but it lacks controls for the music system. The new rectangular air convents look smart and there's even a small storage box on top. There's a new music system too with the option of a 6.1 inch touchscreen system. Now this cabin certainly has a good amount of appeal, feels way richer than the duster but has it fixed everything? Not quite. The controls for the ORVM still here in a funny position under the handbrake and uh, the dashboard quality, the plastics, well, still that tough hard-wearing variety and the design overall still feels not quite up to date, does it? The front seats are offered in leather on the top end XV Plus variant, but they could offer more lateral support. Space though is plenty and you also get a basic seat height adjust. At the rear too, there is a wide, flat bench with good support and decent space. You also get an air convent on the top end variant for the rear bench, as well as reading lights on the roof. Right at the back, the boot is wide, deep and tall, although the loading lip is a bit high. Now, if you've driven the duster, all that we're going to talk about the Terrano, how it drives, it's going to sound very familiar. That's because under the skin, the Terrano is identical to the Renault Duster. The first engine I drove was the variable geometry turbo equipped 1.5 litre diesel. Now, despite the variable geometry turbo, you will feel the lag low down in the rev range. Below 1500 rpm, things are quite sluggish. Get past 2000 RPM and you have this wave of usable power that stretches on to 4000 RPM. The motor revs to just over 5000 RPM without losing too much steam. And that is a big boon when you're out on the highway. What's also a big plus is the six-speed gearbox. It really makes it so relaxed while cruising out on the highway. Especially in the city and even on the highway, if you drop down lower in the rev range, and you want to aim for a gap, you will have to work the gearbox to get that punch that you need when you put your foot down. This strong motor is backed by a company claimed fuel efficiency of 19 kilometers per liter. Nissan will also offer the 85 bhp variant of this diesel motor. And there will also be petrol power. A big plus for the Tirano is going to be that Nissan is going to be pushing the accessible petrol variant as well. 
The motor is the 1.6 litre petrol with 103 bhp of power and it comes mated to a 5 speed manual gearbox. But it isn't very peppy to drive. This motor is fine so long as you're not planning on getting anywhere in a hurry. Things get quicker still as you rev it up. This motor can rev. 5,000, 5,500, 6,000, 6,000, 6,400 RPM is where the rev limiter cuts in. But the thing is, it does get a bit fuzzy when you rev it up that hard. Nissan claims a fuel efficiency of 13.2 km per litre for this engine. Now, back to the diesel. When it comes to the suspension, the Terrano uses McPherson struts at the front and a twist beam setup at the rear. It wears 215 by 65 R16 tyres. On an open road, the Terrano is at ease even at triple digit speeds. Now this compact SUV does admirably well around corners. Sure, the suspension is set on the softer side so it does roll around corners a bit. But you have lots of grip from the tyres, the steering is pretty direct. Only thing is when you chuck it into a corner, it feels a bit squishy. But the car feels very predictable, feels very controlled. So, it makes it that much easier to hustle. The suspension makes the Terrano apt for everyday Indian roads. Now the Terrano has got the right combination of ground clearance and ride quality for our roads, whether it's potholes, bumps, speed breakers, no roads, it'll just gobble it all up. That beefy suspension and those big tyres will do the job. So no surprises that this compact SUV from Nissan is well suited for the Indian market. Expect the petrol variants to start at around 8.39 lakh rupees, while the 84 bhp diesel version should start at 9.15 lakh rupees. And that should go up to 12.83 lakh rupees for the 109 bhp XV premium diesel. That puts the Terrano at about a 40 to 75 thousand rupee premium over the duster. Sure, you cannot deny that the Nissan Terrano looks sleeker, feels handsome and at the same time feels richer. It would have been nice if it offered a little bit more for the premium that it's going to come at.